Hello, this is Dr. Daniel Gulo, the Joseph S. McAuliffe Curator of the Malta Studies Center at the Hill Museum and Manuscript Library and current project coordinator for the V. Himmel 3.0 project funded by the National Endowment for the Humanities. And today I want to introduce our last upgrade as part of the grant, uh, which includes uh, a further development of our user interface and search for our application folio and also a major new application uh, that we are very excited to share with you today. So on behalf of Father Columba Stewart, the Executive Director of the Hill Museum and Manuscript Library, John Meyerhofer, our Systems Librarian, and Brian Lohr of Solutions Design Group, our programming partners, um, I am pleased to give to you today our last iteration for VHIML 3.0. So if you've seen over the course of the last few weeks, we have updated our user interface to allow greater access to our collections. Uh, this includes, of course, uh, redesigning our home landing page to provide uh, uh, clear navigation, but also other applications like Reading Room, which we released a few weeks ago, uh, which has a similar feel and style, but also the improved search interface that allows for the easy investigation of our collections. This style, of course, has been uh, moved across our site so that uh, other parts of the application, like VHIMO Lexicon and VHIMO Reference, uh, have the same look and feel, and that way users can uh, have the same experience across the site. Today we're happy to say that we've uh, completed the similar uh, design for VHIMO Folio, which is our online um, site for extensive study of manuscript paleography and transcription, uh, working in conjunction with Vihimbal School, uh, where people can go and learn about uh, various traditions of manuscript paleography, and supported by uh, lexicon and reference, which contain materials about paleography and manuscripts and terminology that helps understand the world of manuscript studies. A folio, in many respects, is, uh, uh, works the same way as Reading Room. It has the same uh, search interface with limited, uh, limited fields to search based upon the unique characteristics of this database. Um, but it also has the uh, simple boxes here which will allow you easy navigation and into the site. Uh, these boxes, of course, uh, if you wish to study Latin paleography, uh, one simple click will give you a list of our album of extensively researched uh, manuscripts uh, for paleographic analysis, including, including this very lovely uh, manuscript from London, the British Library in uh, Southern uh, Textualis. One of the things we are most excited about uh, showing today uh, is our new innovative design plat application called VHIML Data Portal. VHIML Data Portal uh, responds to one major part of our grant application, which is the ability for outside universities or libraries or scholars to harvest metadata from our collection uh, in order to uh, use that data for their own research. It also was to respond to the frequent requests that we receive to make our metadata schema available so that people can understand how our database operates for their own database work and projects. But responding to uh, Himmel's uh, strategic plan and mission, we wanted to make sure that our, this project was not simply what other libraries uh, do, which is to call a basic API uh, for the metadata, but we wanted to be incredibly innovative and to aid researchers in developing new and interesting projects on their own rather than simply providing a portal where one can uh, connect and download the data. And in this case, um, this desire to be fully innovative responded also to the need for scholars working in the world today developing their own digital humanities projects based upon manuscript studies. So seeing that the called API was an insufficient way to do this, uh, we here at HMML decided to create a fully functional uh, database 
where people can download our data, but to do so they can curate their own search and download only the data that they feel that is needed in order to create their own projects. In this sense, it's responding to a growing movement within library sciences known as collections as data. And we felt it incumbent upon ourselves because of the vast resources that we have within our manuscript collection to do our best to provide scholars and research with an easier and more efficient way to harvest metadata to create new and interesting projects, seeing our manuscript collection as uh, a place to harvest data for research. What we did, therefore, is instead of just simply providing a link to harvest the data, we wedded our database to Reading Room, which allows people to curate their own data set for download. And in this case, data downloads will be done through JSON, which is the most efficient way to uh, harvest a complex metadata schema that can be, therefore, migrated and uh, shared and cross-worked over into a different database. These curated metadata sets are based upon the database as it is currently live. Uh, therefore, it is reflective of our most recent collections. At the same time, it must be understood that since Himmel is a dynamic organization, these collections are always expanding. Therefore, researchers who are doing work on vHimmel data portal should know that the collection is going to get larger and larger over time as we move more and more collections into the database. And as stated, these curated metadata sets um, can be done uh, based upon your own criteria, and therefore by researching our metadata, you can provide, uh, you can gain access to our collections. Uh, the last somewhat caveat to this is that because of the nature of Himmel and the, and the amount of collections that we have, not every, catalog, not every collection has the fullest and most complete set of data. So it's probably best to investigate these collections to see if it has the data that you're looking for. That doesn't mean that the data doesn't exist. It might simply mean that the data hasn't been entered yet into the database as we move forward trying to create access to our collections. So let me give you a brief example. If I go in to the to data portal, and what I'm interested in doing is looking for manuscripts from Spain, um, but I'm really interested in looking for an author named uh, Giovanni de Andrea, um, get the name spelled right here, and um, I want just simply manuscripts and manuscripts in Latin, I can now do a search for those manuscripts here in the database. And as you can see, it returns 60 results in a table. If you simply wanted this table data, that is the country, the city, the repository, the shelf mark, the project number, and the permanent link, you can simply go up to uh, download the table search data. This will be downloaded in a JSON file, which there then can be converted into the appropriate um, form for your own database. Or, if you wish, you can download the full data set for all of these manuscripts, which includes comments on art, art decoration, manuscript decoration, um, scribes, etc. So you have your option here for titles, authors, all of the data that's currently in the system with a full data search. And you just simply click on the button, and depending on the size of the database, um, it can take, as you can see, it's already done in about uh, one second uh, for this 60 manuscript collection. If you wish to see any one of these that have um, been pulled up, you can just simply click on the link here, and it will take you uh, directly to the uh, record. And as you can see, here's Giovanni de Andrea and the work that he was looking at. So this is a really fantastic way to mine the collection for any type of data that we have in order to create your own curated data set. Uh, this is a very strategic way when it comes to helping build your own digital humanities projects which might focus on a region or an author um, or a, a work or manuscripts that were produced in a, in a certain monastery or country during a certain period. Uh, we think this is a highly innovative and unique way of looking at uh, a database as the springboard into uh, digital humanities projects. Now, in order to fulfill our grant program, we also um, allow people to download the full data set. You can simply go to the data set here, and every night at midnight, we provide access to the most up-to-date version of our full data set, which you can download in JSON format um, or just simply in the table version shown on the previous page. 
Um, if you need to understand how our data is organized, um, we have created a place where our data schema is um, available. You can print the data schema, and do note that we have a manuscript and print schema, but also as we have an archive schema uh, for you to take a look at. We've provided a, um, a basic skeleton for you to see how we uh, understand our data from a construction standpoint. Um, and also we have a connection to a Google Sheet where you can download the schema um, and see how the data and the type of data that's found within it. Finally, uh, as part of the data portal, uh, we felt it wasn't simply enough to, uh, to provide this uh, basic introduction to our site. So we created our own supplementary website known as VHIML DH or VHIML Digital Humanities. Uh, this website here is to help scholars who have not yet worked with manuscripts and digital humanities projects to understand how to create their own digital humanities projects uh, for their work. So it provides an introduction to VHIML and what VHIML is, um, but we've also preloaded it with some sample projects so you can see how projects can be developed uh, from VHIML metadata. In addition to that, we have put in some tools to help you understand how to use JSON and also to provide some access to the, da the database and other databases um, to see how digital humanity projects can be uh, constructed. Uh, this is a very exciting uh, moment for us, and so I'm very uh, thankful to release this new version, our final version, of VHIML 3.0 to you today. And on behalf of the Hill Museum and Manuscript Library, Father Columbus Student, and all of the people who've worked on this project, uh, we are very grateful for the National Endowment for the Humanities to entrust us with this endeavor, and we hope you enjoy. <laughs>